Do you like rojak? I bet you like it. But don't you know the ingredients in the rojak may contain the bacteria named E. coli, just like cucumber. Today we are going to share with you about an experiment on how garlic reacts on E. coli bacteria. Now I'm going to tell you about the materials needed in this experiment. First we need three test tubes. A test tube rack, pipettes, sharp bin, clinical waste bin, milk, five pieces of blended garlic, sterile water, transport medium, Three agar petri dishes that has been labeled A, B, and C. And the most important thing in this experiment is the E. coli bacteria. First, we need to mix the sterile water and the blended garlic. Second, we need to take the three test tubes that have been labeled A, B, and C. In test tube A, we just need to put the milk in it. While in test tube B, we need to mix the E. coli bacteria and the milk. Lastly, in test tube C, we have to mix the garlic juice, the milk, and the E. coli bacteria. Finish mixing all of it, we use the pipettes to transfer the milk from the test tube to the other petri dishes. First, the test tube A. Second, the test tube B. And lastly, the test tube C. Now, you just need to put all of this in the room temperature and wait for a day to see the result. Actually, we have done this experiment a day before and this is the result. In Petri dish A, you can see a little bit of bacteria growing in it. This may be due to con contamination. contamination. Oh yeah, contamination. The biggest colony of E. coli bacteria is found growing in the Petri dish B. In Petri dish C, there is no growth of bacteria because the garlic contains many molecule alicin. Oh yeah, molecule alicin can prevent the growth of bacteria. This experiment shows that the garlic can be used to kill the E. coli bacteria. Thanks for watching and we hope you are enjoying it. If you like our video, Please subscribe and give us your thumbs up. That's all from us. Thank, Thank you. you.